it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome to my world. It's Thursday night. We're going to go thrifting. If you're new here, hello. So nice to have you stop on by. Please consider subscribing. Uh, we are living a thrifted life over here, and I like to take you along to shop and to find all those treasures. So stick around because that's about to happen. If you are a friend of the channel and you're coming back because you know what's happening tonight, <laughs> there is a giant cliffhanger. Um, hello. What I'm about to show you is maybe one of the best things that I have found thrifting. Definitely in like the top five. And that's good. This trip, this day, was the best sourcing day of the year so far. And it's early in the year. This happened, like, right at the end of January. So this was, like, pew, way to start a year. <laughs> so I'm not going to delay. We're going to get right into it. If you missed Tuesday's video, you can find it up here. And I'll also add it below. Let's go back and see what I found at the Goodwill in Akron on this day. Let's go. All right, we got carts out. <laughs> A giant lassie dog back here. Uh, oh, he's got a crack right down his back. It's cute though. What I did find in here, I'm kind of jazzed about, is this piece. That's Pyrex. Holy moly, y'all. I did not expect to see this on the cart. Now this Goodwill sorts in the back and also photographs and does online sales from this location. So we don't expect to see anything like this. Um, but you know, they can't catch everything. I think it's absolutely fantastic if they're letting some of this stuff through because there are people out there like me who are telling the whole world <laughs> or like 800 of you <laughs> that these things are out there and you can find them because I did. It rolled out on a cart and I looked down and I saw the top. I saw the lid and a peak of this black and white and I grabbed it and I thought, oh my gosh, no, no way. No way, right? No way. And way. It is Pyrex. Not only that, but to have the lid and to be in this kind of condition is pretty spectacular. <laughs> the last one like this, in this size, this number, which I think is like B572 or something. Nope, <laughs> 575B. It's a two quart. Um, the very last one of these was sold in auction and it sold for $240 or $250. I don't remember. I will put that right here. <laughs> it was in not as good condition as this. That one actually had some scratches and whatnot around here. And mine, although it needs a little bit of a bath, is in spectacular form. So holy moly i'll probably put this up at auction because in this condition and with so many people out there looking for pyrex right now i don't know what it'll sell for maybe maybe better than the other one if it sold for the same as the other one even i would be so thrilled i paid 35 percent off because remember we're shopping with a coupon 35 percent off of five dollars the treasures are out there, people. Go find them. <laughs> um, yeah, I was kind of shaking when I found this. And you'll see in a second, I show my aunt. And she just shook her head like, what? How? And we were both just kind of blown away. We were just blown away. <laughs> so that is what my cliffhanger was about, y'all. I would love to say it gets better from here. <laughs> It probably doesn't get better, but it definitely doesn't get worse. I still find some incredible vintage stuff coming up. So stick around. Let's go back and see what I found. Psst. Psst. Black. 
black with snowflakes. Oh. Do we know what that is? Oh, that's the snowflake pattern. I noticed a couple of things right there in the cart that I forgot. I picked off of that end cap where the green stuff was and I forgot to share it in the last video. So I want to show you them because one of them was a total surprise. So first, candles. If you're not thrifting your candles, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're wasting a lot of money. I get the best candles thrifting this one. $3, 35% off, so under $2. It looks like maybe less than a tenth of it was burned. They probably lit it, decided they didn't like it, and let it go. This is a soy wax blend. Soy candles, I love. They burn the longest. This is a root candle, one of the best as far as quality. And the scent on this one is called Hasta. This is a queen bee large jar and... I'm excited about this. It's like the perfect spring candle. So it will be burning here for sure. Second, I found these. They are the apple dumpling figurines. They are numbered. And I think, yeah, $2 is what I spent on these. 35% off. So I had to grab them. They're adorable. And they're snacking on an apple core. Perfect for summer decor that I will put over at the shop. And then this was the surprise. So I have run into a bunch of these Mary's Moo Moo's. They are these funny little resin figurines. They're all cows. They're all doing different things. This little cow, look at her little headband. She's walking her wiener dog. Look at how adorable he is. She's also numbered. But this get along a little doggy is a rare one apparently. The last one sold for like 60 bucks or maybe a little bit higher. I'll put it right here. It's like, what, why? why? Um, that's amazing. The last one before that I think sold for 47 and there hasn't been a lot of them. So I think it's just a rare figurine and that's pretty awesome. So for two bucks, I will list it on eBay. Then I'll probably put it somewhere near where it sold for last time and uh, see what happens. That was a surprise though. So I'm checking out the art. By the way, I love this piece, but it is so destroyed. Look how cute that is, little watercolor. This, it's in horrible condition. <laughs> it needs restretched, reframed. But it is so cool. I think I may be up for that challenge. His frame is not great, although I do like the yellow with the yellows in here. But this was a kit that you could buy. And I think somebody maybe gave up on it because the other ones that I'm seeing have a butterfly like right in this area. So whoever built this was like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm good. We don't need to add the butterfly. But you can see the back is kind of a mess. They just kind of taped it in around this cardboard and it's all come undone. So that's why it's so kind of floppy in here. Once I get this stretched and fixed up a little bit that it will definitely sell out of the boho booth. And then I was just looking at these. These have a very kind of cool vintage vibe to them with our coupon. They'll be like two bucks a piece and there's two of them. So, the five by seven, I think a vintage card framed in there will look really good. If you have been around for a while, you know I've been looking for five by seven frames because our friend Richard, who is a card maker, makes these amazing illustrated cards that he plucks from turn of the century postcards and old ephemera. And I am a huge fan. I've actually purchased a bunch of these, including lots of Christmas ones for one of my booths over at the shops by the lake. Well, I just purchased a whole bunch more. He had a great little sale. He calls these his lucky dips. He puts together 10 cards for you. 
that's the lucky dip. You don't know what you're going to get. I haven't even opened up these yet. I'm so excited to see what I got. But I did open these so that I can show you them in these frames. And I liked the fact that these had a vintage look to them. I picked two cards that are from his reading series. Look at how wonderful she looks in there. And then look at these girls. Now I just threw them in here. <laughs> they're, they're with their envelopes and everything. So that's why they're kind of wonky in there. Of course, I will place them in there more nicely when I take them over to the shop. But I wanna show people that are buying the cards there that they can use them as art because that's what they are. So I wanna have a number of framed cards sitting around. Isn't that great? Thank you, Richard. Anyone who would like to check out Richard's cards and maybe purchase them for yourself, I will include his information down below and his link to his website and his Etsy page. Go check them out. They're so wonderful. Look at this guy. He just got a really cool look and look at his long legs. Where is he made? made in the Philippines. Maybe three bucks or something. Yeah, we'll grab him. He's definitely got some personality. But look at how tall he is. <laughs> I mean, we're talking like 18 inches, 20 inches tall by the time you count his little wire feet and his tail right here. Uh, for $5, 35% off, that's a great deal. And he will go over to the Whimsical booth and I'm sure that he will sell there. What I love about these nice tall pieces, especially ones like this that have this opening here, is they offer such great hierarchy on a shelf. So if you have a nice tall area, he stands up above whatever else you put below. So you could have a plant and he's, you know, higher than it, or you can have a vase that, you know, he kind of towers above and then you have that beautiful decorative um, hierarchy. So people who know what they're doing when they're decorating Definitely have an eye out for things like this that can give them a little bit of height on their shelves and their tabletops. In the last aisle, I've noticed this. Did you see this little mushroom glass over top of her? It's an Inesco. She's cute. But I really like these. Another pair of bookends. Have nice weight to them. They feel like they're resin. You think they're resin? They're heavy. They're heavy. Made in China, $4 each. So that's eight, that makes them like six bucks. Yeah, I think I'll give those. Equestrian things are always good to find. Look at the details on this guy. So nice, even that little kind of faked patina in there. A little bit of dust too. <laughs> I need to clean them up. These will definitely fly off the shelf. They just have a really wonderful look about them, don't they? Cute little, he probably holds a sponge or something by the sink. It's cute. We're in the orange. There's been a lot of cute doggies here today. What is this? That's pretty. Teleflora. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. I did not expect that to be Teleflora. Some, some of lot. the sellers say Teleflora starts to sell. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's pretty. It would make a pretty um, Halloween piece. Singapore. Those planters are kind of cool for succulents. These kids are cute. Light as can be. I like the stars down here. Got that kind of country look. I 
I missing anything? Some more doggos. Lots of doggos here. Looks like somebody had a collection. Wiener dogs. This looks like it might be 60s. We're gonna check out the stopper and make sure there's no damage. That is pretty awesome. I really love coming across these old bottles, these old decanters. I was surprised to learn that this is a Jim Beam bottle. It's in this wonderful amethyst color. Let me put some light behind it so you can see. There, the purple. It's wonderful. I kind of expected it to say Italy on the bottom, but it doesn't. I think it's definitely sellable. Looks like there's quite a few listed on eBay. I'll share with you the information that I found there. But with bottles and stoppers being so popular, I think that this will be a quick sale over at the booth. That's where it will go. Uh, it's like they really wanted to protect her. I did. But they didn't cover her face. Nope. Just her hands and her legs. <laughs> okay, so I have a crazy cart full of stuff. Now this is a little misleading because this is sitting on top, but you can see there's stuff down there. Um, I am going to sit for a second here on the windowsill and look some stuff up, but I'm running out of juice. Um, so I'm gonna have to use my juice to do some lookups. Beth found this pot and I just love it. Look at the colors on that. I was not sad about my aunt passing up on this pot because I adore it. I love the yellow and the black. I love that it was a three piece with the little steamer basket in it. The condition is wonderful. It has a few little dings on the lip here of the lid, and that's where they always are, if you find them. Oh, I love enamel, the white with the black or the blue, or the splatter enamel, all of it's good. I love all of it, but to see this one in this awesome kind of 70s gold, it just tickled me, and I haven't decided if I'm going to use this in my kitchen or if I'm going to resell it. I really love it that much where I could see myself using it. Not a bad day for resourcing. Not a bad day at all. There's a few more things that I picked up that I did not capture on camera. So I'm gonna share those with you. And then I'm gonna show you this with that cruel piece and one other thing I bought and it's like, man, <laughs> I could totally see a little 70s vignette over at the booth with them. I keep finding the great kitchen stuff I hope this trend continues throughout the year because like my eyeballs are tuned into just wonderful like jars and pitchers and things. Um, this piece is made in France. You can see France right there on that little handle. And it's just a wonderful juice pitcher. I love this kind of ribbed line on it and has a great little top wonderful condition. I totally see my cucumber water in this. That would be perfect and pretty. I could see all the cucumbers in there. <laughs> all right, so I guess I'm adding it to my kitchen. I also think because it's nice and narrow, it'll fit right in the door. Hmm. Nice. I was so thrilled to see this. I think this may have been on the final cart that they pulled out. Every time we say, all right, we're done, we're gonna leave, it's like they hear us and <laughs> they pull out another cart. I think that may have been the case with this one. I had already shut down the camera and this came out. But how wonderful is that? I think it's like a maybe 18 point star and it opens like this so that you can put your little votive in there. And I imagine it lit up would just be beautiful. This little hanging lantern. It's a nice weight, nicely built. I have not found this exact one. I think I've seen some and they are priced pretty high, but something tells me that this is probably maybe a Target bought one or something, you know, a little newer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a lot of things like this in my porch, a lot of hanging candle type things. So I'm tempted to send it there. We'll see, I'm gonna get it cleaned up. I'm definitely gonna light a candle in it to see how pretty it is. 
and then yeah then I'll determine where it's gonna go from there the last thing I want to show you is this little trivet and this is the one that I was saying I saw it and I kept thinking about the cruel work and this beautiful gold pot and I thought oh my gosh I could definitely see like a little vignette of 70s happening doesn't that just take you right back to the 70s I feel like if I put these three things together in one of my boots somebody will see them and love them all <laughs> just like I do pretty spectacular before I go <laughs> let me share the receipt with you so this receipt is both my aunt's stuff and my stuff i always buy a little bit more than her so it's probably like two-thirds mine and one-third hers um but just to let you know how the coupon works we ended up with 114 dollars and 90 cents before coupon now you saw the stuff that I showed you between Tuesday's video and tonight's video. Just for my own stuff would have been a great deal, but that's all of our stuff together. And then after the coupon, the coupon took off $39.90. Add tax, $5. Our total was $80. $80. So about two thirds of that $80 is, is my cost. For some amazing things, some great vintage things, some incredibly sellable things, some very rare things. I still can't believe this one. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers who thrift talk about the Goodwills in their areas and the elevated prices. And we've seen that not only in Goodwills, but in other thrift stores. Um, in the outskirts of our area, but I do not take for granted for one second the quality of the things that we find at this Goodwill and of other Goodwills right in my area. Um, I'm extremely lucky. I do not take it for granted and I like that I can share it with you all and I hope that it inspires you all to at least get out and look. Go see. Go see what the prices are. Find those little mom and pop shops. Find the other places out there like the Salvation Army. Um, if you have a bins, check out the bins. Find those treasures because they're out there. I swear to you, they are. And that, my friends, is the end of this epic shopping trip. Just a reminder, the sale here ends tomorrow night at 9 p.m. If you have an offer on anything or you wanna go back and check out the sale, see what you might like and make an offer, I will have the sale up here and down below. You can go and check that out. I will be shutting that down tomorrow at 9 p.m. So you have a limited amount of time to check these things out. And there's a charity item in this one. We're gonna send some money to Ukraine. So please make sure if you haven't checked it out that you go back and you see what that is all about. All right, everybody, this week has been an amazing action-packed week. And if you have been sticking it out with me all week, I love you, I appreciate you. And I hope that you will come back next Tuesday when we'll be back at it. I'll take you along. All right, friends, have a great weekend. Find something fun to do. Go thrifting maybe, but please take care. I will see you on Tuesday.